This is kind of an interesting reaction. We have Ag2S. This is silver sulfide. This is silver, but it's the tarnished silver. When you leave silver out, it'll actually combine with H2S in the air, and you'll get this tarnish on it. But what you can do is you can use a single displacement reaction to get rid of the tarnish. In this case, the aluminum comes in and it pushes the silver out. So on the product side, we have silver all by itself, nice and shiny, and the aluminum is combined with the sulfur to make aluminum sulfide. So this is one way that you can clean tarnished silver. But let's balance the equation here. We have two silver atoms, one sulfur, and one aluminum. On the product side, we have one silver, three sulfurs, and two aluminums. Let's leave the Ag to last because all we need to do is put a coefficient in front. That won't change anything. Let's balance the sulfur. So we have three here and one here. I'm gonna put a three in front of my Ag2S. So now I have one times the three. That gives me three sulfur atoms. Those are balanced. Two times the three. So that gives me six silvers. Now we're pretty much done though, because we said with the silver, we could just put a coefficient in front of that, put a six here, one times six, that gives us six, it doesn't change anything. The aluminum's the same. If I put a coefficient of two here, one times two, doesn't change anything else except the aluminum. Everything is the same on each side. We're done. This equation, it's balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Ag2S plus Al. That's silver sulfide plus aluminum. Thanks for watching.